All right, guys, another one, another fire, two of them in different states, all right? Multiple different fires are happening again. And I know I keep making, it seems like deja vu, another warehouse fire. Yes, more. I just keep finding more. It just keeps happening, all right? What the heck is going on? And it's happening all over the United States, all right? Three different Amazon warehouses have caught on fire this week. Two warehouses in Texas, one in Dallas, Fort Worth, one in Houston, one in Louisville, Kentucky, all right? It's happening all over the place. And now two more states have been hit. And these fires are kind of in relation to, it's kind of a similar field that it's happening in, all right? So let's get into the first one that's happening. This is huge happening in Michigan, all right? This happened in Minnow, Minnow Mini, all right, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it good, Minnow Mini, Michigan, all right, and it says, crews from over, from five different fire departments had to fight this fire because it was so massive, all right, and this was a paper mill fire and a paper mill warehouse fire, this is massive, why is all of our paper products and wood products being under attack, if you saw my video yesterday, one of the massive fires was a um, Houston fire that attacked a lumber yard, all right? And it was, it just burned to the ground and it also had lots of roofing material. And now a paper mill has been hit and what's going on? And by the way, if you've ever driven by a paper mill, all right? I used to always drive by this one in Port St. Joe, Florida. Let me know if you've ever been there. It's where a lot of my family's from. And we used to drive by this paper mill that smelled so bad, smelled terrible. It was the worst smell you could smell. It, it was just nasty. Like burning, burning hair probably smells better than this. It was a nasty smell and it filled up this one section of the town when you were going into Port St. Joe. It was very stinky and it was a paper mill there, all right? So something's going on. It says this was on the border of Wisconsin and over five different um, fire departments needed to come to put this fire out because it's such a massive fire. It's a, it's a bunch of paper. It's a bunch of wood pulp and paper and stuff for a paper mill, right? So let's get into the second one too. This one's very strange too because it's not even like, oh, it's this warehouse, this random thing. These are all related and these are all... I mean, Arkansas is not that far either from Texas. So it says a Arkansas uh, warehouse fire has broken out in Lincoln, Arkansas, right? And it says, oh, and by the way, that one that happened before at the paper mill, it happened at 11 p.m. at night. Once again, it was at nighttime. And they're saying this, the wood pulp just caught on fire in the middle of the night at 11 p.m. because it was so hot, All right? I've never heard of this. Maybe it's possible, but it's like the other fires. One of them was from a hand sanitizer thing in Dallas, Fort Worth, and it said it was in the middle of the night and that caught on fire at 10.30 at night too, hand sanitizer, because it was so hot. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but it seems very suspicious, all right, very suspicious. That was at 11 p.m. The wood pulp just caught on fire. And I'm sure nobody's at the paper mill. Nobody's operating any equipment and it just catched on fire at 11 p.m. All right, um, at least this one, it was normal daytime hours. It says around 10 a.m., 9.45 a.m., Lincoln, Arkansas was hit. And this was a warehouse for trusses, all right, which are used for floors and roofing. So the warehouse yesterday in Houston was a lumber warehouse that also had a ton of roofing materials in it. It literally had on the sign, it was like lumber yard and roofing and it was like a big gated off area. All right, so this is a, a truss warehouse, all right? It has trusses for floors and roofing, which are pretty much just giant beams to support the roofing or whatever, all right? So what the heck's going on? Why, why are all these things critical to our infrastructure, critical to our building, critical to our, our economy? You know, building houses, building warehouses, building anything needs trusses and these things are being attacked. Everything needs wood. Everything needs a roof. 
all these different things are being attacked. Every We all need paper, all right? Paper mill. Like all these critical things are being hit and they all have to do with the lumber industry as well. It's very strange, very suspicious. What do you think's going on? There was a lot of speculation too when, <clears throat> sorry about that, lumber prices were so high at the beginning of all this stuff that it was artificial. People were like, there's there's no lumber shortage, there's lumber all over the place. You know what I mean? So who knows what's really going on? These commodities can be manipulated at high levels. And I'm not saying it's people, you know, boots on the ground owning the warehouses, but you know, people that control the supply chain, the people that own the shipping containers, the ships, all this stuff, the logistic companies, all the stuff that make up our supply chain, all right, there could be manipulation in certain parts of it that are holding up certain materials, making more materials certain more scarce, all these different things, all right? So what do you think's going on? Do you think this is an accident? I mean, at least this one was at 11 or at 10 a.m. So I guess it was normal business hours, but why does this keep happening? Why do massive fires keep breaking out all over the United States, all over the place, all right? I made a video even last week. It was uh, Florida right after the hurricanes when everything was soaking wet and Missouri were also hit. St. Louis, Missouri was hit. A industrial warehouse that holds ton of holds a ton of industrial materials for other companies. It's like a big um, like industrial center, you know what I mean? Like those 500 acre centers that have a bunch of different things going on. They have mines, they have all this stuff going on. And it was a warehouse for one of them that holds all their equipment and it burned down in St. Louis, Missouri. So every state's getting hit, every state's not safe from this. And what are you gonna do to buffer the supply chain, right? Obviously we can't like build our own trusses, but we've seen food facilities attacked as well. Food warehouses, the biggest food warehouse in the world in France burned down a few weeks ago too, all right? This is not just like a, they're like, oh, it's conspiracy theory. Why is this happening? so much so why is this happening all right so let me know what you guys think please get prepared please learn how to grow your own food too because if the supply chain does get wiped out the military is learning to grow food off grid all right so get prepared guys and thank you guys for watching and you have a big old blessed day thanks guys